He is the founder of Naira Bet and the 2019 victor of the Oyo State uh, Ebada Onara Federal House of Representatives. Uh, that's the constituency. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome Otumba Aki Alabi. He's in the studio. Yeah. You're welcome, my brother. Thank you. Yes. You know, uh, before now, when we hear Otumba, you, you expect to see one old man with gray I'm hair and pot belly. But you are a young man. Where is he? <laughs> but I see no gray hair. This is a young man with six now. packs. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, on your triumph. Um, what is the... I know you gave it a shot in 2015. Yeah. yeah. What is different between 2015 and 2019 when you now finally have it? What, what's the big difference between that election and this election? Well, I, I think it's about consistency because um, after losing the election in 2015, mm. I didn't just run away to come back after four years like the Olympic Games. Okay. No, <laughs> Good I, one. I kept at it. Yeah. I stayed within the constituency. I was with the people, interacting with people. And so it was like, oh, this guy lost the election the other time. He didn't just run away mm -hmm. still with us. I think he deserves a shot. At it. Let, let, let's give him another chance. So I think that played so a So you think role. that's, yeah, that played a part in There are many factors in an election, so obviously. You know about these yeah, things. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I think that was, that was crucial. Okay, now that your ticket has entered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you're on your way to Abuja. Yeah. You know, one thing is to win the election. The next thing is to deliver on the promises. Mm -hmm. What are the plans? How do you plan to... You know, deliver on some of those promises that we are made during elections. <laughs> there, there, we made a lot of promises, to be honest with you. Sure. Um, we we have a campaign website where we have our plans. Um, uh, it's called AkiMeansBusiness.com because that's the motto, the slogan of our campaign. Oh, AkiMeansBusiness. Business. So the website is AkiMeansBusiness.com. So we've got everything in there. But let me just talk about one or two. Okay. You see, because uh, I'm a business, I'm a business person, um, small business owner, and um, I am very, very concerned. I'm very, very passionate about helping small businesses grow. I go around my constituency and I see a lot of small businesses from the petty traders to the small business owners to the medium scale business owners. And I know that this is one way to create jobs. When businesses succeed, there uh, are going to be jobs. A lot of people don't understand the concept of job creation. Some people think job creation is about just hiring teachers or civil servants. That's a part of it, but, just, but that's just the low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. but, if you, we can support small business owners, if you have a business, employ one person, employ two people, five people, then you, you, you're easing the issue of yeah. uh, lack of people, jobs in the country. Yeah, making people self-reliant. So we're going to not only uh, provide fin uh, money for them, finances for them to be able to... Because I meet some people that their entire business is less than 100,000, uh, entire oh, lots of worth people, of business. Lots of people. And they actually send children to school, yeah. send children up to university yeah, level yeah, sure. with that. What can we do to double their businesses? What, what can we do to help them? And also, apart from just direct money, what, are, what, com, what, what policies can we put in place? Okay, now, Business now that registration should be free, for example. Okay, now should that be done online. Fine. Should do in 24 now hours. that you have talked about you know, business, because we know that you are, you are somebody who is an expert in creating small businesses yeah. and turning them yeah. into profitable ventures. You also wrote a book about it. Yeah, small business, uh, big okay. money. So now you have the opportunity to go to the Federal House of Representatives where you are going to be collaborating with your you know, other colleagues. Is there like a policy framework in your mind, a bill that you know, has been talking at the sleeve of your mind that you think that, okay, if I'm just beyond Aki Alabi doing stuff yeah. in my community, in my constituency, you know, helping people on a national level. Yeah. You know, because most of the people you find in your community are like a representation of what you find yeah. around yeah. the country. Yeah. How, I, how do you plan to work with your colleagues to make it a national thing? An example is tax reforms. Tax reforms. Tax reforms. A lot of, in my industry, for example, mm -hmm. the sports betting industry, which has employed thousands of people in direct employment and mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands in indirect employment in terms of agents and affiliates, we, we get heavily taxed for mm -hmm. uh, double taxation. The federal government wants to tax us for the sports betting tax different state governments all over the country the 36 states still want to tax us at the same time on the same profit mm -hmm. those and that's just one industry those kind of things kill businesses so we need to look at this kind of things that can help businesses but the thing that can really touch the little guy 
is actually company registration. It's a start. I mentioned it a minute ago. Company registration should be absolutely fresh, especially for business name. You have a so, very be beautiful idea flowing there, but no. we'll, we'll just hold you there because we'll have breaking news. Uh, we'll take that breaking news. Okay. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be back and All we'll right. continue that wonderful interview. Yeah, you can see it as a fixture, but what are the odds? <laughs> it's the other news. As Dan the Humorous warms up, my conversation with the versatile Aki Alabi continues. Um, Aki, yeah. yes, uh, lots of people see your, how do I put it now? There's a lot of criticism that you and other fresh people going to this next assembly, yeah. you know, don't have the experience yeah. to take us out of where we are presently in okay. the country. How do you respond to that? First of all, if you look at the composition of the people going to the National Assembly, all of us, it's a blend of the old and the new. Yes. It's not just about young, fresh guys. Mm. So the, 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 the start where you can take... Uh, the, 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 the older ones can take the younger ones through the baby steps just the first few weeks or first couple of months. But when we're talking about, we have our own ideas. We have the things that we want to do. Um, we, we have done things, a lot of us, in the private sector, right? And bringing the experience of the private sector into governance and combining it with those that have been in governance all their lives, I think is the so perfect So if I combo. understand you very well, in the few, first few weeks... The, the young ones will, in some ways, depend on the older ones. I, I won't call it on depend. The on, okay. You can take some Rely advice. On their you, you can take their advice and all advice, that, yeah. Whatever word we mm -hmm. call it, you know, to just understand the procedure. To ease through the process, to, yeah, you yeah, know. You process. just can't go there on day one and go yeah, and, If you go and sit on the speaker seat, it won't be funny. <laughs> <laughs> then, hopefully, uh, you know, as time goes on, you will now assert yourself on how things are done. Yeah, so, almost immediately. Which yeah. means it's also possible that these older ones may quickly introduce you guys to how to do budget padding. <laughs> and, uh, and before you know it, Vigia, you become, young you become Vigia, swallowed. Vigia, Vigia, young Vigia, old. <laughs> if you want to go there to do that, that's what you go there and do. Right? It has okay. nothing to do with that. Okay. But you need, you need to learn the ropes. For example, like I said, like I, I joked, I, I, you I just can There are processes, there are orders. Just, yeah. just checking. Okay. Just checking. Because, you know, you know, when you depend on older ones sometimes, no, you not have shown us that all these older ones can lead you, you astray. You need, you need wisdom from the old uh, with the vibrancy of the young ones Then you combine it as the perfect match. I want to agree, I want to agree with you on that one. So, um, you represent the, your constituency in yeah. your state. Yeah. You know, and, and you have an understanding from what you said of you've been with the people, so mm. you know what they want. Mm. If you could pick out one thing mm. that you think that if given urgent, serious attention in your constituency, you know, your state, that will change lives. One thing. You want me to limit it just, to one thing? Yeah, just, just I mean, one point. I, we talk about too many points agenda. At the end of the day, we end up not achieving 50% of all. <laughs> so me, I'm beginning to think in one one-point agenda. Like on a national scale, if we do light one-point agenda and give everybody light 24-hour uninterrupted, we'll be cool. So are your people... I, th I think you develop, man. I want to talk about your development. I think capacity building. There's so many people that, for example, just let me limit that to one. Mm -hmm. so, one subsect, subsect of the one, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> That I'm using idea so to bring it into it, but it's okay. Right. Some of them are so brilliant that they want to go start their own tech businesses, like online based businesses. Like the, I don't want to mention names here. Like they want to start and they don't have the, they don't have the finances. They don't have, they don't have too much knowledge about the technology space. And I, this is something I've been doing for years: training seminars. I'm going to bring all of them free. Right? We're going to train people, we're going to empower them. And imagine someone succeeding and having their own Amazon of right there in Ibadan, mm -hmm. employing hundreds of people, thousands of people. That's really, really going to ease a lot of problems. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. That sounds, that sounds good. Um, a, a lot of people are of the opinion that our electoral process is not where it should be. Uh, in fact, some people say we took some steps back in this election cycle with the kind of violence and other things that we are experienced. Mm. What's your take on it? 
Well, I th how I can we get well, better? Look, I think it's got to be improved, yeah. right? How? And we have to keep improving it day by day. And I think it's proving. Look, if you compare the, the elect election results, the figures before the 2015 elections, when the card readers were introduced, you see bogus, bogus numbers. But since the card readers were introduced, the numbers went down. It really showed that people's votes are really beginning to come. Real people are beginning to vote. And I think we should concentrate more on that technology. It's important to keep introducing better technology. That's the way this better uh, technology to collate. I think collation is a problem. That's when there's too much human interaction with collation with of figures, results. You can, you with can numbers. maybe that's when a corrupt, corrupt person Begins is going to come in. Like maybe human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you have a point. <laughs> Things happen. Then, then we're talking about human error as well. We, are, we have to consider some people innocently do those things. So the human error. So if we can eliminate this in the coalition processes, voting, results can come in real time. Maybe not exactly real time, but faster than it. Because when it's taking one day, two days, then that's, that's when you hear that somebody is mm. trying to, you know. But when technology comes in and there's more, more, more. more. Yeah, everybody understands that technology will help. Yeah. But the argument against technology yeah. oftentimes especially as it affects real time, yeah. is that most of the uh, areas, especially the, the, the hinterlands, the local areas, the remote areas, mm. don't have uh, internet connectivity. That, that, that's, not, that's not a problem. That is the excuse that, that, that has been a, given. That's not a big problem. Yeah. The, 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 it doesn't have to be real time. All the results don't have to be real time. Mm. But the ones that go, even as at now, the card readers, when they go into the villages, they are not connected to the internet. Mm. All the, all, all, the, all the data has already been stored in it. So when your card comes in, it just matches that. So it's not connected. They don't use internet at the polling station. Mm -hmm. right? okay. So I'm talking about the collation. When they will have taken it out of the villages and the remote areas to the collation center, all the collation centers, yes. they are in major cities in the country. So internet shouldn't Hopefully be a problem with that. Hopefully then when somebody snatches a card reader instead of a ballot box, we won't run into the same problem. Then everything will be stored in the cloud. <laughs> So the card reader yeah, is just a device. The if it has to go in the cloud, you talk about internet. Yeah, yeah we're going to have certain yeah, problems, but we should keep improving. Okay. It's just like our phone now. You can lose the phone, but you still have your details. Okay, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. We need to do something. Yeah. Thanks for making our time. Yes, yes. appreciate it. Yes.